peace. If you've been thinking about interlocking because you are being more active, it, you're sweating more in your scalp, your locks are thinning, or you just want something that's going to last a little bit longer than your retwist because it's been unraveling more often than usual or what you were expecting. Interlocking may be a good option for you. However, there are a few things you should consider before switching from palm rolling to interlocking. One of the biggest things to consider before switching to interlocking if you've been retwisting your locks for an extended period of time or if you only had one retwist and you're just like wait I want to try interlocking. You really want to think about is the sizing of your locks. With interlocking the locks are formed more condensely and tighter and so you don't have that like fluffiness that you get from a retwist and so if you're expecting thicker locks or fuller locks interlocking may not be the best option for you because it's going to make your locks more condensed. Also think about your foundation. Did you start with the intention of having thick locks? Like did you have a big part or do you have micro locks or smaller locks? If you have smaller locks, interlocking is a good option because that size allows you to go back and forth between interlocking and palm rolling. I want to show you an example. One of my guests who has had locks for seven months now, we initially started their locks with twists, two strand twists, and then we did a retwist and they retwisted at home as well um, up until this seven month period. And now we are switching to interlocking to allow for longevity, to allow for the ability to wash their hair more often. They also really just want the um, versatility that interlocking offers in between grooming sessions, all of which I think are really great uh, reasons to interlock. So now that they have been retwisting for so long, what a lot of people don't consider is that that first interlocking session is going to be much longer than you would expect interlocking to be because with retwisting your new growth doesn't lock immediately it t tends to come unraveled when you wash your hair so you have a lot of new growth a lot of um, loose hair at your roots and all of that needs to be interlocked for the first interlocking session after that initial session once you come back for retightening, you should only have maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches of growth. So the interlocking goes much quicker. But that first session is a lot. So take that into consideration. If you ultimately want to groom your locks with interlocking, you may want to just go ahead and start them with interlocking or just prepare yourself. Your first interlocking session is going to be a lot. And then you also have to think about the appearance of your lock. Retwisting looks much different than interlocking as it's maturing. Ultimately they tend to look really similar but there are a few differences and in order to make this transition to interlocking seamless you have to also continue to groom the hair that has been twisted before interlocking was done. So I find that that's really 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 important. Yes. So ultimately you can switch from retwisting to interlocking. Just want to be really mindful of the characteristics, the sizing, and the amount of time that it's going to take. I also have an article on my blog that goes into a little bit more detail about the differences and benefits of interlocking versus palm rolling. You can check that out in the description box. And if you have any other questions, definitely feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'm wishing you peace, love, and goodbye.